we're going to take a quick look at why these two theorems hold true. So let's look at the first one. This says that the integral from a to b of some constant c is equal to c times b minus a. So first let's put on the graph of a constant. Remember the graph of a constant is just a horizontal line. So if we're trying to calculate the integral from a to b, we're basically trying to find the area of that rectangle there. And this is a nice perfect rectangle shape that has a width of b minus a and a height of c. So the area of that rectangle is c times b minus a, which is why this definite integral is equal to c times b minus a if all we're doing is the definite integral of a constant. For the second one, this says the integral from a to a of f of x dx is equal to zero. Well, let's start with what we know. Here's our function f of x, and if we were looking for the integral from a to b, we'd be looking for this area here. But we're not looking for the area from a to b, we're looking for the area from a to a, so let's move b over back to a, and if you see, we get no area. So if the upper and lower limit of the definite integral are the same, we're not going to get any area ever, no matter what our function is.